All right, so special t-shirt on again because so grateful to all of you for supporting us and our Kickstarter beyond our, our imaginations and expectations. We are so grateful and thankful. Still a few hours left, so if you were thinking to uh, support us, now is your time. Uh, go, go to our Kickstart uh, link, which will be in uh, the description below, and you can support us over there. Also, join us uh, on my Substack, where you know I'm writing daily about the markets and stocks. And today, I want to tell you that there's one thing that you can do to set yourself up for what is very clear to me is going to be like a generational bull market for our stocks. And I want to really, really emphasize for our stocks, our stocks, because they're gonna act differently than a lot of the other things uh, that people are focused on. So first let me lay out why I believe that this bull market is coming and it's getting closer and closer. And the number one sort of thing that you need to focus on to understand that when you hear about weakness and slowdowns and recessions, that's actually good for growth stocks. And the reason for this is that that makes growth scarce. And when something is scarce in that way, it becomes valuable. And as it becomes valuable now, big money investors come to chase the few companies that actually have real, true, actual growth, and they bid them higher. And from current levels, I can tell you after getting absolutely destroyed, shell really for about 18 months now, growth stocks, I mean, they're held by us, Kathy Wood, a few people here and there. I mean, these folks, beyond being strong hands, I mean, these folks really, really, you know, they they believe in in, in these stocks just like we do. So they've held on and the scenario is definitely setting up for slowdowns, definitely in Europe and China. I mean, these are two gigantic regions of the world that are in recession. So if you're in recession, which means you're going backwards, you're going backwards, you're not growing. In the US, consumer sentiment has been indicating for months now that consumer spending is about to roll over. Big deal because 70% of the US economy is consumer spending consumption. So big deal. 20% plus of our economy is actually exports to places like Europe and China. And that obviously is gonna go into the tank with those areas going through a recession. Then you've got housing in the US, which is a big supporter of consumer spending and consumption. And that in many parts of the country is also starting to stagnate or roll backwards. So in other words, it was really easy to find growth by the end of 2020 and early 2021, all kinds of companies were saying like, hey, we can grow at 10%, we can grow at 15%, we can grow at 20%. Well, those companies for the most part, I mean, they were part of the old world and they were stagnant and in decline before, but COVID gave them like this gigantic boost because, you know, you had the lockdowns where nothing was made, nobody was buying anything. And this once we opened up, it was like a boom. And everyone had gone then to think that this like kind of changed what you know the environment was. The truth is, is that these old businesses are going back to where they were pre-COVID, which is that they were stagnant and in decline and in you know where they were seeing at best marginal growth, two, three percent, and that's where they're going back to. Meanwhile, our companies, I mean, they have consistently grown, consistently grown. I mean, they had this huge growth surge in 2020. And then growth has slowed down since then. Nonetheless, they've kept that massive growth surge. I mean, you know, we're talking like hundreds of percent jump, you know, in one year. And they didn't go backwards from there. They've continued to grow at slower rates. But, you know, I mean, if you grow at 500% in one year, you're not going to see like another 500% the next year. You're going to see a little bit of a period of digestion. The thing is, is that the stock market 
is acting as if we are back in 2019 for our stocks. And that's completely wrong, utterly wrong, crazily wrong. And it's about to turn because our stocks now, hey, they've got that big growth really in the rearview mirror. So comparisons, expectations going forward, they're really pretty modest. And that means that they are set up now where they can beat those expectations, beat those forecasts, beat those estimates. And that is a recipe for big gains because now that's gonna draw in short-term speculators that like to bet on events like earnings. Uh, it's gonna buy, uh, bring in medium-term speculators who know that like, hey, there's a demand and supply imbalance here where the stock is held by very, very few people and to get it out of their hands, you're gonna to have to bid them higher. And then long-term buyers, that's where we are. I mean, those folks, they're like, hey, we, we wanna make big money. We've gone through some endless pain and we can make some big money here. We can make minimum hundreds of percent. I mean, longer term, thousands of percent. And in a recent Substack, I laid out really what people can do if they want to participate in what I believe is going to be this generational bull market that really sets, you know, the stage for many of our companies in time, I'll say five, seven, 10, 15 years from now, being seen as blue chips. And I actually call them as growth blue chips. And in a recent Substack, I laid out five. Um, I laid out five of these, uh, which were Zoom, Teladoc, Airbnb, Coinbase, and Moderna. And next week, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through my case for why I believe these companies are setting up to be the blue chip stocks of the future. And this is, if you have no exposure, at minimum, these stocks really give you access to this, what I believe is this extraordinary, unbelievable generational bull market that's coming for our stocks that takes them from being sort of like things that people look at and say, wow, you know, I mean, I use Zoom all the time and I know about telemedicine. I know somebody that's using it and where it, they, they just get propelled into really both the mainstream of life and the mainstream of the stock market. Hey, so if you like this video, 